Well, tonight we're hearing from the Durham's police chief about the impact crime is having on the city. She did share those details uh, during second, the second quarter crime report to the city council today. CBS 17's Gilat Malamud is live for us tonight and uh, in Durham. What did the chief have to say about violent crime? Overall, she says violent crime is decreasing, but one of the crimes that increased from that category is rape, and she believes that's due to increased reporting. That's just one of the many crimes we spoke to her about this afternoon. For the first half of the year in Durham, fewer people were shot, but the number of shootings are up. Out of all the numbers in Durham Police Chief Patrice Andrews' crime report, one of the most promising is this an 82% homicide clearance rate so far this year. But just knowing that there is someone that's going to answer for that, for taking their loved one away, that, that means, I think, a lot. When it comes to responding to calls, the average response time is 6 minutes and 21 seconds, 30 seconds slower than the department's goal. In an effort to help with lagging times and a shortage of officers, Chief Andrews moved eight officers from a special crimes team to answering 911 calls. The report also has an update on ShotSpotter. It detected 639 unique gunfire incidents, leading to 12 arrests. Is that working in your opinion? So, I, you know, the, 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 the jury's still out on that. Um, I am not at the point yet where, where I can make kind of a, a solid recommendation. Calling shot spotter a tool, not a cure-all. Across the board, property crimes are up. We learned more about a rash of car break-ins. As Andrew says, investigators filed more than 300 juvenile petitions for 12 to 16-year-olds. And in one case, a young person shot at an off-duty officer. It's disheartening that our kids are engaged in this kind of behavior. You know, and certainly I can't imagine an off-duty officer, they're fortunate that that officer didn't have their gun on them. I mean, you know, because that's, they're, they're playing adult games. Chief Andrews says that more than half of all, more than half of all guns stolen in Durham come from cars, and most of those cars are unlocked. Live in Durham, Gilat Malamud, CBS 17 News.